Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Just Russo here. Tom is busy doing some other things around me and is probably going to say random things into the mic. Yeah, he's cleaning. I'm, I'm sticking around. I'm trying to give you guys something else. But we're cleaning up from our last set, and I saw that we had a box of Breakpoint just floating around and thought, we got to open it. We just have to open this box of Breakpoint. So it's my, uh, it's, it's practice. I'm going to see if I can get faster at opening these things. And just talk to you about what's going on. So, new mall. I have not gotten ever to play. Ooh, that's a really cool hypno. Okay, that's an awesome hypno. And it's an all-night party. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story about the hypno at the all-night party. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and see how this is. It's going to be story time box. We're going to see how you guys like it. So, there was a hypno. He had to go out and... Uh, you know, he'd been feeling lonely, and he's like, I gotta go chill with some friends. But his friends didn't really like to hang out with him because his little brother always came around, and his little brother's name was Drowsy. And see, nobody liked it because Drowsy always brought the party down. And, but, you know, he thought, I still need to get out. I need to get out and be about. And so he said, yeah, okay, I'll go. Even if my little brother's going to follow me through, I, I have to go out and enjoy myself. So he went out, and he thought he would break the ice at this place he went. So he broke the ice, and he wound up meeting Eradicate. It'd been the first time he ever met Eradicate. But Eradicate liked to hang out in the swamp. You see, he liked those dark, dark areas. He hung out with Trubbish some, and then every once in a while, you know. But, like he said, he was hanging out with him, and he was trying to find a good all-night party. So as he was hanging out, Eradicate went and brought him into the middle of town, and there he met Trubbish, who was just sitting on a park bench, you know, enjoying the view as you would. If you're in the middle of a park, you're going to sit on the bench and just enjoy the view. But what he was really enjoying was, uh, I don't know, he was enjoying catching his fellow Pokemon. He used his Pokemon catcher all he could, and he would store them in the trash bag, in a separate trash bag he kept. Had a whole trash bag full of Pokeballs, so he captured others. He was a little bit, you know, uh, that seems a little cruel, but... I mean, Pokemon, the goal is to catch them all. So it was now time for Hypno Eradicate. They met, they sat, they talked, they chilled out, and just had a good old time. But they were trying to find, once again, that all-night party. So after hanging out there, Hypno's like, eh, peace, nice to meet you, Eradicate, but, and nice to meet you, Trubbish, but I gotta get out of here. I gotta go find where this all-night party is. So he left, went along, and he wound up running in two as I go through this pack, a Durant. Now, this wasn't your normal Durant. This was a larger than normal Durant. Because this Durant was the only member of the band Durant Durant. So he met up with Durant Durant and was able to, you know, hear some good music. And come to find out, Durant's like, hey, I got to play this show later this evening. So you should come and chill out. It should be an awesome Durant Durant show. So he was like, oh, sure, why not? It might lead on to where I can find this all-night party. So he went. Hypno and Durant wound up going to the show. At this point, that was when his uh, little brother Drowsy texts and was like, hey, dude, where are you at? You know, we always have to hang out, me and you. The two of us have to. We have to hang out and do some wonderful things online. So... He wound up saying, okay, you can come. But if you come, you have to promise me you bring your buddy, Skyzer. And this Skyzer was not your normal hangout Skyzer. He was the mega Skyzer. If you were going to go to a Durant Durant show, he's who you wanted to come with you. He would keep the party going, and you know what? He might just be the one to be able to keep that party going all night long. So, along comes Drowsy with Hypno and Durant to the Durant Durant show. And Durant started Durant Durant started singing just some of his favorite hits. Yeah. And, you know, he was kind of feeling it, but it was kind of just low-key, and it, it kind of brought the tone down. And for once in his life, he was like, wait, my brother's not here, and the, and the party's being brought down. But then he turned around, and there was Drowsy, bringing the party down, as always. But behind him was Skyzer. Not just any Skyzer, as I said but Mega, Mega Skyzer. And then Durant Durant, once he saw Mega get there, 
they got the crowd pumped and they got that show going. It was pure hype. Hype, 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 hype. So they kept on going with different things. And as the part, as you would know, any good party, more people are going to show up. And eventually, Skyzer was all partied out. And he went back and he just was his normal self. His normal, normal Skyzer self. And you know, Hypno was like, okay, that party didn't last all night long. That party only lasted from like 7 to 8. I got to keep on find out and where this all night party is. So we, you know, chatted up some different people at the party until he chatted up. Gyarados. Now, Gyarados knew how to have a good time. And the other good thing about Gyarados, he had a hot tub. And so he, when he talked to Gyarados, Gyarados was like, yeah, come on over. I got a hot tub. You can chill out and be able to relax and just enjoy whatever's going on. So he got a hold of it. Durant Durant show was finally over and was able to go talk to his buddy Durant Durant. And as he was talking to him, he's like, hey, Durant, I met Gyarados. He said he's got a nice, warm hot tub. We can all go back to his pad and chill. And so Durant was like, okay. So they all went back and decided to try a nice, low-key, chill party in Gyarados' hot tub. So they made it back to Gyarados' place, chilled in the hot tub. And as they chilled in the hot tub, it was just so, so relaxing. Hypno hadn't known the last time he felt like this. He even decided to pull out his lucky coin that he swing, swings back and forth and started swinging it. But as he was swinging it, everybody just kind of started to loll off, and he didn't know why. And then he remembered, oh yeah, I hypnotize people, so I better stop this mess. So he stopped the swinging of the coin, got back to chilling, and all of a sudden while they were sitting there, they came up and along came Ducklet. Now, Ducklet wasn't necessarily new, but Ducklet knew where there was an all-night party. He shows up and is like, hey, nice chilling with Gyarados, but you know what? There's an even better party happening. That party's happening over at Sigalyph's house. Sigalyph's always flying about, getting the word out, and it's the coolest thing in town. It's almost like an all-night rave. So they're like, yeah, let's go. And so they left and said their goodbyes to... Gyarados, he was slightly, slightly load out and just kind of like, why guys, why? But Durant Durant was at the same level. He was like, dude, I've played a full show and it was time for Durant Durant to leave and go home. So then Hypno went with Ducklet, still being trailed by Drowsy, over to Sigalyph's house for that all night rave. And as we're doing this, Tom is still cleaning up and doing other things, wondering how in the world I'm able to keep on going on about nothing. I know, he is quietly judging in the background. So they made it over. And you want to know what why Siglith had such a great party? Everybody was doing max elixirs. They were passing it around like it was nobody's business. They were passing it around like it was candy, man. Everybody was hopping up on that max elixir. And all of a sudden, Luxray decided to break in. And he was a, you know, Luxray liked to keep the law. So he was breaking into this place and trying to get, make sure nobody was doing anything wrong with the max elixir. So real quick... They shuffled the Max Elixir away. But everybody was already, you know, humped up and ready with that Max Elixir. They just went on to party. And you know what? Sigilus' twin brothers wound up showing up too, and it became a double, double, double party. But, like, Luxray came over and broke the party. He wound up breaking the party up. It sucked. Everybody went their separate ways. Ducklet wound up having to go home, and it just, it just felt weird. Why, why, Luxray, did you have to come break this party up? So they sat there for a while trying to figure out where they wanted to go next until Luxury left, and then they had an idea. Why don't we go to Slow King's? Slow King normally knew what was happening. It was normally the chill place for the all-night party. So we went, and they decided, Drowsy and Hypno. After all, they were brothers, and why not stick together? So they stuck together and went over to... And when they arrived, they found out Skyzer had shown back up. Skyzer was chilling at Slow Kings, getting his second win, getting ready to go all out. And he was just all pumped and ready. So they were super psyched about all this. They were able to get that party going. And by this time, it was about 1 a.m. So they were almost getting through to their wonderful all-night party time. So they went through and had their all-night party time. Kept on, kept on. Skyzer kept the life going. 
Esper showed up at some point, and then wind up Psyduck heard about it and was like, I want to get in on this mess. Hypno even decided to go all out and got super spiffied up by the time he was out with that party. It was like an all-night party. As I've said that word way too many times right now. But yeah, it just went on, and they had a time. And you want to know something? Durant Durant wound up showing up once more. He was just like, you know, I feel bad for leaving Drowsy and Hypno all alone. Might as well show back up and give a little action to it. So he showed back up. And they partied and rocked and rocked and rocked. But the night started to come to a close. Everybody was getting a little tired. And they thought it was just about time to switch things up. When all of a sudden, Palkia is like, we're going to go back in time and reset the whole thing. So that's what they did. They wound up finding a way to go back in time, and they reset the whole night and repeated everything all over. And they had an all-night party. Okay, if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a thumbs down. But yeah, that's a box of uh, Breakpoint. Talk. Catch you guys later. Look, a Psyduck. Subscribe.